Hey, this is Paolo from DMB Academy and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the main scenes from the track No Tomorrow by Matthews and Camo and Crooked. So this is the original track. <laughs> And these are the scenes that we're going to be making. Before we get started with the video, if you're new here, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss for future videos. And if you're already subscribed, share these videos with a fellow producer who you think will find them useful. This will help support the channel a lot. Also, don't forget that if you want to get access to a preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. And if you want to get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists on our website. You just gotta visit dmbacademy.com. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so this sound I would say is very simple. It only consists of three layers and a bit of basic music theory. So this is layer number one, layer number two, and layer number three. First, let's take a look at the MIDI. So this is a progression that I used. To give you a short breakdown of this progression, what this is, is basically a C major chord, because we have C, E, and G. And then we have the same chord, but every note is one semitone up. For example, this G turned into a G sharp, the C in turns into a C sharp, and then an E turns into an F. But it has a different inversion. But if we were to bring all of these notes closer to each other, we will see how these are chromatic chords with more interesting inversions. Then we have this dissonant bass note. And the last chord is just an interesting interval between C and F, which is five semitones apart, so it's called a perfect fourth. But we stack one layer here and we bring it down. So, this is the progression that we're gonna be using, but in a lot of sounds, what we're gonna end up using is only the top notes like this. Also, one very important thing is that if we go into Serum, we have a minus 24 pitch bend range and we have those pitch bends in certain key points, like this. Here, we bend from minus 24, which will be two octaves down, and then here we go from the middle point, which will be only one octave, back to a bend of two octaves. Cool. And now if we go to this other patch, you will see how we are using different variations of the same intervals with different sounds. So in this stage, it was a lot about experimenting. For example, this layer, that is the simplest one, only uses the higher notes. And at the end is how you play with the mix of these three layers. And also we have a sub here. Okay, so let me just build a patch for you and then I'll show you the variations. Okay, so the patch itself is very, very simple. It's just saw waves with that harmony. And in terms of effects, we just want an EQ that helps us clean the low mid frequencies. Then we want to run everything through a multiband compressor and then add some reverb. And to variate it, we can do something like adding unison. And this is done on the other high layers that only use the upper notes. Or we can make it super simple, like nothing of unison. Make sure you bring the random knob all the way down so you get a consistent sound and then only play one note. And this, you stack different variations of this sound with a sub and this is what you get. So 
So that is the principle behind this sound. What I would encourage you to do is to learn how to create these very interesting harmonies because at the end you wouldn't want to copy the exact same track. Instead, once again, you should learn how to create these interesting harmonies. Now, if you want to learn how to make these cool harmonies, we have the perfect course for you waiting on our program, DMB Foundations. This course is obviously the Music Theory and Harmony course. So if you're interested in learning how to create these very interesting progressions, you can go and visit dmbacademy.com and get started with DMB Foundations. And then use some of the sound sign tips that I show you to shape this sound. And so just one last thing, it's just some simple EQing like I did here, removing annoying spots, and then just some leveling to mix the different layers. And that is basically it for the sound. So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to know when you future videos. And if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.